Hey folks, it's me, Dr. Mike. Oh, and yes, this is the Renaissance Periodization YouTube channel. So I suppose I'm here for Renaissance Periodization. Weekly tip, you love these. You obsess about them. You can't wait for them. And here they are. I won't do any more puns or stupid jokes. Milking the stretch on chest flies, actually of any kind, cable, machine, pack deck even, which is kind of a stupid machine, and dumbbell more particularly. What does that mean, milking the stretch, and why is that a good thing? So you can do flies like a regular exercise, which just means you kind of just do them like this, like normal cadence, whatever. You can even do a pause and come back down. I got to make sure I sit properly for this demo I'm about to give you guys here. Anyway, so here's the thing. That's totally fine. It'll get you good growth, but it has been shown that producing a high degree of tension under a, a stretch at the same time, so what's called a loaded stretch, is actually uniquely hypertrophic and probably the most hypertrophic stimulus you can impose in a variety of conditions. Not all, but a whole bunch of them. And good news, the pecs are excellently positioned for this because you can stretch them an inordinate amount while still having a very safe shoulder position and, and no other muscles limiting. So we can focus on this as a variation to try, and you might like it better. So check this out. Instead of doing regular flies, lock in a certain joint angle for your elbows, probably like 135 degrees, like here's 180, 135 is like right over there. And as the weight descends, you push your chest up, okay? So as you're descending under control, not quickly, the lower you go, the higher you lift your chest. That pre-stretches it for you. Then as you're going down, and especially at the bottom, you're retracting your shoulder blades. Good news, retracting your shoulder blades and pushing your chest up are almost the same movement. They super reinforce each other. So it's not one of those like people say like, stay upright, but also drive through your hips. And in the squat, it's like, well, if I drove through my hips as hard as I could, I would just bowl over. There's not a contradictory movement, not a contradictory cue. The two cues reinforce each other. Chest up and shoulders back, shoulder blades retracted. It's, it's gonna be a big stretch on the chest, even not at the high degree of motion. And then then do not bend your elbow any differently because you're going to want to bend it less and take the stretch off of the pecs. You want to keep the stretch on, keep that elbow bent to the same degree. Don't do this. Don't do that. And you're going to develop a painful ripping stretch through your pecs down to where the pain is nice and high and you really can't retract anymore without losing a ton of tension. Keep the chest up and hold that position for one full second. Like, it's going to look like this. You're going to go like this, big chest, big tearing, and then gently come back up and repeat. If you do that, you may experience a crap load of disruption in your chest. You may notice that your pumps are better. Your mind-muscle connection is better. And if you try this method, reduce the number of sets of flies you do at least for the first session that you try this in versus normally. So if you normally do like four sets of flies, try this with like two or three sets, it will fuck your chest up. What's gonna happen is these flies, after you're done with your workout, they're gonna be laying in bed with your chest and both smoking cigarettes and just kind of being like, fucking good. And then the flies are like, you, you, want, you want anything like a sandwich or an orange juice? And the chest is like, I'm, I'm fucking golden. I'm like, ah, sweet. And that's just how the scene ends. See you next time.